Module one, for example, how did you feel as you arrived? What did you notice? I had had such an intense learning experience with Ashridge already that I needed to readjust and remember that I was doing a different course and that there were different members of faculty that I was now meeting. And that said, the overall container of the Ashridge experience, the commitment to learning, to understanding one's own journey, to action research and more than anything else, the relational approach, all of that was still there. Mm. So it, it, it flowed actually very, very easily. It's a while since that first contact we had when I interviewed you uh, during the application process. Uh, so now, having finished and graduated, um, I'm wondering what stands out for you in terms of your experience of joining and being part of the programme? Yeah. So when I first showed up, I think I was very much like this, in the corporate kind of suits, the corporate kind of mentality, the mm. kind of very in your head and cognitive kind of space. So when I first came to Ashridge, I wasn't in a safe space. I, I needed to be vulnerable in order to re-examine myself and how I was interacting, really the ability to unlearn a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. In many ways, I'd sort of, because I've been coaching for so many years, I've become quite entrenched. And what I needed to do was to let go of that in a safe space mm -hmm. in order to make some deeper discoveries, which has been the journey that I've been on. And then it was just about the co-created kind of space, the ability to explore and um, to have some space and time to do some real unpacking and processing of what was arising. So a lot of the work, the standout experiences were not from the, the formal input piece, but about how it landed with the different uh, participants, my, my peers, and our exploration of that, and then how that might be reframed or rep repositioned by yourselves as faculty. Um, and that ability to, to shift perspective really helped us to build our awareness of what was going on both within us emotionally and in between us in terms of the connected space. And that's really um, good to hear because that's something we pay a lot of attention to in our design but also uh, as faculty when we're working uh, with the group to really attend to the dynamics, the processes, what happens in the group as, a, as an organisation in its own right, really, which is brought together at Ashridge. What for you is the difference between being supervised and being coached? Oh, I would say that there's a huge, huge difference. Um, when, I'm being, when I'm being supervised, I'm there to look at myself in my professional practice. If I'm being coached, then it's more for me about working on, it could be issues with my career, particular things I want to learn to do differently. And it is not so much about my profession. There could be overlaps, of course, there will be. But so being supervised for me is much, much more about me and my practice. And since training as a supervisor, myself, what the, the way I've crystallized it is that it's about continuing to learn, looking after myself, and doing the right thing. So that's about the, um, the formative and the normative and, and um, I can't remember the last one Restorative. now. Restorative. Restorative, yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, but, but, but that's really what it's about. Yes, that makes sense to me. It's actually reminding me of uh, a colleague of mine called Tom Batty. He thinks that the key thing about supervision is it's, it's coaching, if you like, helping somebody whose job is to make an intervention mm. to cause some change. And that's different to just uh, coaching somebody in their, in their role at work or something. Mm. So, and I thought that was a very interesting distinction to make. Yeah. I agree with that, mm. yeah. I love it also because of, um, we know that particularly as relational practitioners, which mm. we both are, um, that there are levels of relating mm. that, that emerge all the time between people. And in supervision, we, or part of our job is to be aware of that and reflect with our supervisee, mm. not just be informed by it, but mm. think about the different relationships, mm. the real co-created relationship, the transferential one, the parallel process one, yeah. the reparative one or the restorative mm. one, so on, which I find... Uh, 
an extra dimension different from coaching. And that's also one of the things I love about supervision, that it is, you've got more balls in the air. There's quite yes. a lot going on, mm -hmm. but it gives such richness to your working life because you're thinking about lots of different aspects. Um, it's a little bit like a mosaic and you can choose to look at different things, but they all form this really coherent whole. I love it. Yes, that's a beautiful metaphor, a mosaic. I learned so much mm. from hearing my supervisees talk about their particular contexts or yeah. whatever. It's very nice. So it sounds as if for you, the difference between a supervisor and a coach, for example, is that they've actually been there, they've done the work. I was being supervised by Robin. And I always remember this, so I was talking about one of my clients. And after like three minutes, he said to me, oh, you, have to, uh, you have to stand up, you have to go out of the room and come back as your client. So I did that, and then, then, so I did that, so I go out, come back, and I was trying to really embody my client. And then he says, there is seduction in the room, and I'm thinking, ooh, you know, I, I would have never thought about, about that. I wasn't feeling it, but clearly he was. And then we really got into a conversation about being seduced, seducing, being love, being rejected, and we really went into a, a, a really deep um, conversation, actually. So, you know... That presumably was full of meaning for, for the client. For the client. Yeah. But, but what, what I'm trying to get to is, you know, before Ashridge, I would have never got there, <laughs> right? So I've really discovered topic of conversation within supervision that I on would, the first day. On the first day, <laughs> that I would have never dreamed about before. <laughs> That's Robin for you. <laughs> it is.